All right. Afternoon, River Landing. It's time for Chair Fit. I'm Jill Lindstrom, the wellness assistant here at River Landing. And I'm glad that you're here with me. Let's go ahead and we're gonna start right here. We're gonna lift our hands up right here. Good, we're gonna start in a, in a different manner today. So we're gonna go punch, punch, punch. Knee lift, knee lift. Punch, punch, punch. Lift, lift, good. Punch, punch, punch. Lift, lift, punch, punch, punch. Lift, lift, punch, punch, punch. Lift. Lift, oh, and then punch, 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 and lift, and lift. Now, keep the punching and the lifting going. Opposite arm, opposite hand. I'm gonna turn that music down just a little. Go one man band here. Good, and it sounded a little loud to me and I felt like I was yelling. So keep punching, punching, lift. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Good, a little boxing today. Four, as a warm up, three, two, Last one, good. Now bring your legs out wide, good. And we're gonna tap and punch to the side. Tap, punch, side. Punch it. Punch it like you mean it. Maybe you know something you wanna punch or somebody you'd like to punch or a situation you'd like to punch. I got some of those. Good, punch them out. Punch them out today, punch them out. Add that side movement. Punch, punch. <clears throat> Two more. Last one, good. Now right here, let's punch it up. Uppercut, uppercut. Add that whole body movement if you can. Move that body, move it, boom. Punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it. Good, punch, punch, punch. Good, make, stop it like you're really punching somebody in the chin. Ooh. Good, get that aggression off. All right, let's do four more, three, two last one now let's go a little faster punch it punch it almost like there's a punching bag there we're going to do a little speed bag work are you sitting up tall sit up tall good punch those arms four three two and last one good now bring them right down all right here we are let's speed bag it right here so we're going to do little feet and speed bag speed bag good warming everything up Warming up those arms and those legs. All right, four, three, two, last one. Good, now sitting up, sitting up, excuse me, nice and tall. Kick it forward, kick it forward. Good, these are our karate kicks right here. Kick it, kick it, kick it. Good, kick them out. Good, this next one we're gonna give a try, and if it hurts your hip, don't do it kick it to the side, lift and kick it side, lift and kick it. If that doesn't work for your hips, you don't have to do that. Go back to the center. Good, kick it side. We're waking everything up, waking everything up. What did I eat for lunch? Who knows? It fermented already, I guess. So my brain is a little pickle. All right, two more. <laughs> and last one right there, good. Oh, very good. Let's grab our strap first today. We're gonna kind of keep up with that warm up here. We're gonna take that strap up and around. Good, come forward in your chair because I know some of us have arms in our chair so I don't want anybody to get hit or hurt. Good, so we're gonna step tap here. Feel the difference between just a regular punch and a punch that's assisted or resisted as it is with the strap. Good, punch it side. Good, and it's nice and slow this time because we want to feel that resistance. And it should feel like when your arm comes back, it wants to snap back, but you are so strong, you're not gonna let it. Two more, last one. Now do it forward, same arm, same leg. Good, Ooh, I'm not sitting tall there, I'm sitting taller. My building was collapsing, good. Now we've got it. Let's double it up right here. So one side double, double, and double, double. All right, you ready to double our doubles? Here it is right here, you ready? Doubles, 
doubles. Uh oh, it almost seems like singles, doesn't it? Because we're doing both arms, but it's punch, punch, switch legs. Oh, I can feel those arms. Let's do two more. There's one right there. Last one right here. Woo, those arms, right? Good, give them a shake. Good job. All right, well, let's keep on with that same theme. So we're gonna um, take those balls, put them right in between your thighs. Good. Take that exercise ball right between your thighs. Here we go. All right, so let's work our tummy. So if your arms are too tired, we did too much with your arms, I want you to just sit up right here. For those of you that still got a little oomph left in your arms, we're gonna pull forward, squeeze your ball, and then bring it back. Good. Pull forward, it doesn't even have to be big if you're tired. Bring it back. Now let's change the positioning of our hands and come forward. See if this helps a little bit. Maybe it makes it worse. Bring that elbow up. Good, squeeze that ball, come forward. Palms are towards the floor, elbows come back on the way back. Good, push it forward and pull it back. Good, push it forward and pull it back. Push it forward. Two more, we got two more in there, I can feel it. Here's one. And last one. Right there, good, all right. Now let's sit up nice and tall. Good, <clears throat> excuse me. Make sure there's enough tension in your strap. We're gonna squeeze with the left leg, punch with the left arm. Good. Can we slowly lift it so we're punching it up a little higher? Try a little higher, and if higher doesn't work for you, kick just out to the side is fine. Four more. Three, two, and last one. Let's do the other side. So here we go. Punching right, squeezing right. Good. Four more, three, two, and last one, good, all right. Now let's take that strap around, keep the ball right where it is. So every time we move somewhere, you're always squeezing the ball, working those inner thighs. That helps with our gait, helps with the alignment of our legs. So bring that strap right out here. It could be a little closer, you decide what feels good for you. And we're gonna pull down, pull down, good. I gotta lift it. Oh, and I left my jokes on the table. So I'll have to, can I remember one of them? Squeeze that ball. Squeeze, squeeze. Let's see if I can remember one so I don't have to jump and get it. Four more. Three. And two. Last one, good, now bring it right here. Good, and I want you to squeeze the ball, lift your heels, pull it down. Doing three things at once. Squeeze the ball, lift the heels, bring it down. Squeeze the ball, lift with those heels. Good. Lift, lower. Four more. Three, two, Last one right here, pulse the ball, pulse the strap. We could go slow or fast, it's really up to you. Mine wants to keep moving here. But we're still up on those toes, so we're working the calf muscles. You should feel them, either they feel jiggly or they feel like they're getting stronger. Four, three, two, last one. Oh, that shoulder, roll those shoulders. Good, all right. Now let's take that strap and we're gonna row again, but this time I want you to row with your palms up. So we're gonna row palms up. Row palms up. Squeeze, squeeze. Keep your shoulders down, keep it close. We're trying to isolate the muscle in the bicep. Pull it down, it's like a little scoop, scoop, scoop. I wish it was ice cream we were scooping. Wouldn't that be good? Two more. And last one, good. All right, sit up nice and tall. 
You know, a lot of times I remind you of that just because I know I'm not sitting tall. So elbows are tucked in, thumbs are out, palms are up, still holding that strap just that same way. But this time I want you to pull out a little bit, tap your legs, lift up, squeeze the ball. Tap, lift and squeeze. Now I want you to think about when you come up to the top that we're squeezing that bicep muscle. Squeeze it, lift, squeeze, lift, good. Pull it up just that little bit. We lift. Four more. Are you feeling those biceps? Good. We're isolating that muscle. Two. Last one. Right here. Pulse it. Pulse it. Pulse the ball. Pulse the strap. Pulse the bicep. It's slow and controlled. <clears throat> Four. Three. Two. And last one. Oh, good. Let's pick on those legs a little bit. So we're going to come back to the ball. But let's go ahead and oops, put that ball on the floor. I'm glad it didn't roll off because then, you know, once it rolls off, we're done with it, right? Yeah, that's just the way it is. All right, so let's take that strap. We're going to put it underneath that one foot. Good, just under that one foot. Good. And we're going to sit back in that chair. Good. All right, then we're going to kick it out. Kick it down. Kick it out. Kick it down. Good. So we did a few kicks already, but this time our back is on the chair and I want you to make sure that you are supported back there. You're supported on that chair. Good. Now right to the front, right to the front. Four, three, two, bring it up for four right here. Four, up, three, two. Oh, that's a big stretch, isn't it? Bring it down for four. Four, three, two. Last one, now keep it here, faster taps, faster taps, working that heel. Taking that heel like you're trying to get gum off your shoe. Four, three, two, right here, fast, little fast pulses. Ooh, I feel like I'm gonna fall out of my chair. Fast, is that thigh burning just a little bit? Four, three, two, oh, let's stretch it out right here. Point and flex that foot right into the strap, right into the strap. Good. All right, and then let's bring it up. Sit up tall, let's bring the other foot. Take, take it off the one foot, put it on the other foot. Good, we're gonna start just that simple. Their back is on the chair, chest is lifted. Here we go, we go up and down, up and down. Good, up as high as is comfortable for you. Just because my up is really high doesn't mean that yours it has to be high. You do what's right for you, I do what's right for me, you do what's right for you. All right, here we go, right to the center. Four, three, two, and one. Right down this time, ooh, I tricked you. Four, three, two, bring it up all the way. Four, three, two, now bring it down for those pulses. And that leg is saying, wow, you forgot the toe points. Yes, it is. All right, four, three, we're gonna have to do those toe points, two, Last one, bring it right up here, point and flex, stretch it out. Good, four, three, two, and last one, good. All right, let's take that strap, let's put it behind us for right now. Wiggle your fingers a little bit. For me, sometimes holding that strap makes my fingers blue right there at the tips. So we're gonna get some blood back in those fingers before we move on. Got it, all right. Let's grab the ball, nice and softly. We don't have to hold it hard at all. So we're gonna do just a little body movement with the ball. So it's forward, forward, back, back. Sit up nice and tall. Or it's jump forward, jump back. It could be little, could be right to the front. It could be jump forward, reach. You choose. You choose what works for you the best. Good, so it could be forward, forward, back, back. It could be that jump. Good, hold that tummy in. 
we're working our tummies. I'm kind of tricking you here a little bit. You think this is more about getting that heart rate elevated, but we're really working our tummy muscles when we move the legs like we are. Let's do four more. Three, two, last one. Good. Now take that ball. We're going to go step side. High hand coordination right here. Working some muscles in the lower abs. Good. So it's a big lift out and a big lift out. If you have that arm in your chair and you're hitting it, come forward, but not so far that you feel unstable. Good. Now let's double it up right here. It's doubles, doubles, good, and doubles, and doubles. We can go a little faster. Doubles, and doubles, and doubles. Good. One. Good. Oh, my shoulders. Bring them down. Are your shoulders up? I realized my shoulders were up. One more on each side. Last one. Good. Now sitting up nice and tall. We're going to lift one knee. And it's going to be the opposite knee. Bring it down. Lift the opposite knee. Tap. Up. Tap. Up. Once you get it, we can go a little faster. Add a little crunch here. What are we working? We're working shoulders, right? Because I can feel them. Plus, we're also working those tummy muscles. Good. Lift them up and down. All right, while we're doing this to get us distracted from how good we're doing, I'm going to say the name of a state. I'll just do four. I'll just do four. And I want you to shout at me a city in that state. Okay, you ready? Wisconsin. Mine would be Green Bay. That's where my son lives. Colorado. I said Boulder. Uh, Montana. I don't know anywhere in Montana. I hope you did. <laughs> and Florida. I'll say Naples. Do I know anywhere in Montana? I don't even think I know what the capital is right this minute. I, if I sat down for a minute, I would know it, but I don't right this minute. All right, I'm really not that geographically ignorant. All right, I almost had it. Two more, because you're saying that's enough leg lifting, right? Last one, good, all right, here we go. So I know I itch my face, I will wash my hands as soon as I leave. All right, so one leg, one arm. We're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. Imagine that they're tied together with a string. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Is it Butte? Butte, Montana is the capital. Oh my gosh, it's going to drive me crazy now. All right, four more. Three, two, last one. Other side, leg is out, ball is there. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Good, imagine they're tied together with a string. You have to go together. Lift the arm, lift the leg. Four more. Three, two, and last one. Good. All right. Have you noticed we haven't even used those weights yet? So let's go ahead and turn. Carefully get your weights wherever they are. Maybe they're on the floor, so you want to anchor real safely. I'm going to turn and get mine. Good. I'm still sitting here thinking, what is the capital of Montana? Oh, well. Scoot it forward. All right. Up, two, and down, two. Working those biceps nice and slow. Good. Two more. And last one. So I kind of like that game. So I'm going to say a color and you yell at the screen a fruit of that color. Here we go. So we'll start easy. Yellow. Pineapple, right? How many of you said banana? Okay. So I push it back. Red. What is a fruit that's red? So shout it out. I picked strawberries. I love strawberries. Although cherries are in season. Blue. 
Everybody said blueberries, right? Four more. Three, two, hold it up there. What is a fruit that's green? Green, kiwi fruit, that's what I thought of. Oh, but did you say grape, maybe? All right, lift it. Four, three, two, last one, good. All right, let's turn and do that other side. I'm turning to the side for those of you that have chairs so that we're not hitting that chair. Kick it back, kick it back. Good. Can you name an orange fruit that is not an orange? Could be in the orange family though. But I can think of some like a clementine, even though it's in the orange family, it's really not an orange. Let's do four more. Three. What about a peach or a nectarine? Last one right here, pulse it back there. My family likes nectarines. They're just hairless peaches, essentially. There's a little difference in taste, but not that much. Let's do four more. Three, two, and last one. Good. Let's come all the way back to the center. Good, palms are down right here. We're gonna lift and lower. Lift, my lower is gonna stop right parallel with the floor, right here. I hear it's very humid outside. So I'm sorry about that. Maybe it's not so great to get outside if you have breathing problems today. Four more, keep going. Three, I feel like I've, yep, I lost my mic a little bit. Yep, two. And last one, good, all right, right here. Let's keep moving those feet a little bit today. So let's do a heel and a tap and a lift. Are you sitting tall or did you slouch a little bit? It's easy, it is so easy. Sitting tall is hard. Four more, three, two, and last one, good. Oh, let's scoot it all the way back in that chair. Good, ah, that feels good, doesn't it? Let's lift those arms up right here. I have to think about it sometimes, these are so heavy. Here we go, let's push it forward for eight, seven, six, five. Your back is on the chair, four, three, two, and last one. Good, bring it in right here. Let's sit up nice and tall. Good, so if one weight is too heavy, or if two weights is too heavy, please put one down. Mine are too heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and put one down. If they're not, if you have light weights, keep them both. Okay, so we're going to come back on that chair. Here we go. Push them out right here. You could be here. You could be here if you have two weights. Good. Tummies are tight. Believe it or not, we're working some tummy muscles right along with those arms right here. Let's do four more. Three. Don't knock yourself in the teeth. Two. I saw that weight get really close. And last one. Good. Oh, roll those shoulders. Okay. Very good. So let's put those weights one on each leg. We've already done some leg work, but we're going to do a little bit more. So we're going to lift it up and over. We're going up and over the lip of the curve, up and over the lip of the shower. Maybe we're going up and over the dog, if you have a dog or a cat. Up and over we go. Good. These are balance muscles we're using right in the sides there. Balance muscles. Good. We're going to pick on one side. We're just going to stay right there for eight, okay? So here it comes, right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Let's do the other side, up and over. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Here's the challenge. So come forward in your chair. Let's sit back. Take your weights. Keep them right at your hips. Good. Here's our challenge. You know what? Can you carefully and safely put your weights away? Let's put them away before we do our challenge. Good. I'm going to just put mine safely behind me. 
All right, now I want you to scoot yourself forward, hold your chair, challenge only if you want it. So here's option one, no challenge, really. Option two is here. Lifting from the belly, keep those feet low to the floor or not. You decide, nice and slow and controlled. We're working those lower belly muscles. Nice and slow and low, here's an option. If that doesn't feel good for your back, if you know you have back pain, you stay right there. Good, let's do four more. Three, two, oh, last one, good. All right, let's just see, we're already back here. Let's stretch those legs out. So point your toes a little bit and we're gonna lift those arms up either into a cactus pose, good, or for those of us that can, we're gonna reach them up a little higher. Keep your chin tucked in. Good, now I want you to look up just a little bit to the side. And then to the other side, ooh, we had to use neck strength to do that, didn't we? Good, I tricked you into doing a strengthening exercise during this stretch. So let's put those hands behind your head if you can. If you can't, fingers on the shoulders. Either way, pull that tummy in. I'm gonna do shoulders, see if I can do it. So suck your tummy in and pull yourself all the way up. Good job. Now keeping your hands where they were, here or here, let's turn to one side. Could be even here. If you have shoulders that just don't lift that way anymore, turn here. Bring it back to the center, turn the other way. Good, keeping your hands wherever they are. We're gonna lean forward. Keep that tailbone stuck in that chair so you're safe. Turn one elbow towards the opposite knee. Maybe we can reach the other arm out, giving it a little break. Bring it back to the center. Let's do the other side. Bringing it all the way back right here. Let's roll those shoulders. It seems like we did a lot of shoulder work today. Let's walk those feet in. Let's stretch those shoulders a little better. So hands together, elbows together if you can. Good, and then we're gonna crunch forward like I threw a ball and you caught it right in your midsection. And we're gonna try to keep the elbow and the hand together and we're stretching through the upper part of the shoulder. Good, now let's release that out and reach for a foot. Now, if some of us can't reach that far, that's okay, reach what you can. Maybe you're just anchored right on your shin, that's okay. And let's come all the way back. We're gonna go right back to that shoulder stretch. Tuck right here, tuck it, tuck it. Right in the midsection. Good, as we come up, we reach that foot out and we go. Fluidity of motion right there. Moving it all. Big breath here. Good, and then let's come all the way up. Let's roll those shoulders one last time. Ah, hold them way out, let's turn. Bring it back, give yourself a hug, a little half hug with a pat on the shoulder, good job. Good, open it up, other way. Pat yourself on the shoulder, good job. Good, bring it all the way back to the center. Let's just do a little cat and cow right here. While you're doing your cat and cow, I'm gonna grab my jokes. Good, all right, now let's scoot all the way back in that chair. So it wasn't just the jokes that I couldn't remember, it was the answer about the Dixie Cups. So, um, Dixie Cups had what printed on their tops? That was yesterday's question. Dixie Cups had what printed on their tops? And the answer is movie stars. Most people over 55 recall the nostalgia of the Dixie Cup ice cream picture list that appeared all over America from 1930 to 1954. In the final year, the lids were in 3D, full color and styled in left and right action poses. These were used in stereo card viewers for the 3D effect. Do you remember those stereo card viewers? Those were so awesome, I used to love those. All right, I think I even bought those for my kids. So today's trivia, this is new, and this is kind of a little risque trivia question. 
What was the prevailing method of birth control in the 1950s? Was it heavy lifting in cold showers, fear, or girdles and crinoline petticoats? So which one of those was the prevailing method of birth control in the 1950s? Was it heavy lifting and cold showers, fear, or girdles and crinoline petticoats? All right, very good. I like this next one. This is funny, and I'm going to tell it again tomorrow morning at 9.30 because I missed it this morning. So, i got to tell you, they're using more and more semiconductors in cars these days. My husband thinks there's one in his new car that compensates for his absent-mindedness at traffic lights. When the light turned green, he says it automatically activates the horn in the car behind him. Uh-huh. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you had a great workout, and I'll see you here tomorrow.